okay now we are going to solve this numerical okay i think uh, you have already written this question okay so our first step is to find out the self factor okay first step is to find out the self factor so what is the equation that is 1.76 root over 1.76 root over d your small d that is nothing but your size of the bed materials okay average size of the bed materials so here in this question your size of the bed materials is already given that is 0.8 mm okay and this value so uh, this d is in mm so you can directly substitute here okay so if the this d value is, is not in mm then we have to convert into mm then we can substitute here okay so in this questions that d value is directly in mm so we directly substitute here and find out the self factor okay as this is a factor so we don't have any unit okay so you are getting the same value Okay, the next step is to find out the velocity. So this Q is already given 40 meter cube per second. Then small f is we have just calculated and you substitute this value here and find out the velocity and see you are getting the same value or not. over okay then uh, next step is we will go for area area is nothing but our discharge by velocity okay. so discharge is already given 40 and velocity we have just calculated in step number two okay and we are going to find out the area Okay. 
definitely we need two equation to find out the two unknowns okay so that weighted perimeter is not known to us and that lessis gives an equation to find out the weighted perimeter that is p is equal to 4.75 root over q okay so q is already known that is 40 meter cube per second substitute here and you can find out the area sorry this is weighted perimeter okay this unit is wrong this will be meter unit of weighted perimeter will be meter okay this will be meter okay so your weighted perimeter will be your 30.04 okay and then it's a trapezoidal channel the side slope is given one horizontal is to one vertical that means our z value is nothing but equal to 1. over now we are going to consider two equation one is weighted perimeter expression one is your area expression of a trapezoidal channel okay so if you use both equation you see in weighted perimeter equation we have two unknowns one is width of the channel and one is your depth of flow okay z value is given that is one then value is nothing but your one okay and at weighted perimeter we have already calculated okay 30.04 so this will be one equation and another equation is will be your area okay so area in that expression also you have two unknowns one is width of the channel one is your depth of flow okay and that area we have already calculated substituting here and we will get second equation okay so we have two equations and we have two unknowns one is width of the channel and one is depth of flow so you solve both the equation and find out your b and y value b and y value okay solve both the equation because you have two unknowns so you at least need two equations to solve or to find out that two unknowns okay so that is why we have two equations two unknowns you can easily solve and you can find out the unknown values that is without the channel and one is your depth of flow
power if you solve then you will get y value two of y values okay. you can directly use your calculator okay that is one thing another So from that second equation from area expression you can write this expression okay that is b is equal to 42.37 this is multiplied so it will become as divide then you have addition it will be subtraction okay so this is b is equal to this so in that particular expression for weighted perimeter in that equation you can substitute in place of b in place of b by using this equation okay you can substitute this expression in place of b okay then you will be having one expression with one number that is y value okay <clears throat> then again you solve if you substitute in this particular equation weighted perimeter in place of b you can write 42.37 divided by y minus y plus twice y root over 2 is equal to 30.04 okay so if you solve this you will get 2y value because this will be a quadratic equation okay that also can be easily solved by your scientific calculator okay so you solve this thing solve this equation and you will find 2y value okay one is I think 1.558 and another one is 14 point fourteen point six three three. okay you are going to get 2y value okay so you can do in this way also okay from one equation you can find out the expression for one unknown and then replace that unknown in that other equation to get one equation with one unknown once you find out this y value then you can substitute here that y value and you can find out the width of the channel okay Fourteen point eight seven. Stephanie, you are going to get two y value, okay? Because it's a quadratic equation. So people are getting the value try to solve again okay and see the y value are getting 1.558 
and 14.63. Okay. If you use your scientific calculator, you know, it directly give you to uh, answer. Okay. Okay. See how I have solved. Okay. So that this search is given. Silk factor. I think you are also getting the same value. Velocity. We are using this expression Q F square divided by 140 to the power 1 by 6. Okay. So if you solve, you are going to get the velocity. Okay. Then next step is to area. Research by velocity, you are getting the area value also. Okay. Then we have used the expression for area of a trapezoidal channel. This is nothing but area equal to by plus zy square. Okay. Okay. So from this equation, from this equation, z value we have considered one as it is already given. Okay. Z value we have considered one. So this is 4.55, sorry, 42.55. That is already we have calculated the area. Okay. And say from here, we get an expression for width of the channel. Okay. From that area equation. That B is equal to 42.55 minus Y square divided by Y. Okay. You are getting only one Y value. See, yeah, see, when you have a quadratic equation, you know, what is quadratic equation? Mm -hmm. Minus B plus minus root over B square minus 4AC by twice A. Okay. This is your manual calculations. See that. In that equation, we have to identify one is A term, one is B term, and one is C term. Okay. And then you have to use this expression manually. Okay. So if you take one is plus, then you will get one value. If you consider one is minus, then you will get another value. So that is why in quantity equation, we will always get two equations or two solutions. Okay. One, because you cannot take both at a time plus and minus okay so once you have to take first plus and then you have to take one minus so if you take addition then your value will be different if you take negative then your value will be different so that is why in quantity equation we used to get to answer okay so you kindly check once again because you have to get two equation okay okay sir mm -hmm. 
or you can uh, directly use this if you find difficulties in using that scientific calculator then you can directly use this expression okay yeah. so but uh, this is again a lending process because you have scientific calculator so you directly you will get the answer which will minimize your time So what I did, I get an expression for B value, 42.55 minus Y square divided by Y. Then, then that weighted perimeter equation is considered, okay. That is 4.75 root over Q. And then, we have calculated that weighted perimeter. These things we have also done, okay, 30.04 meter. Then we substitute in that weighted perimeter expression. That weighted perimeter is equal to b plus twice y root over 1 plus z square. So that z value we have taken 1. So 1 plus 1 we will get root over 2. Okay. So b plus twice y root over 2. Okay. Then again in place of b we are going to substitute this equation. Okay. 42.55 minus y square divided by y plus twice y root over 2. Okay. Okay, so see that this is y divided by y. So now if you take LCM or if you take common, then it will be your y square is already there. Then y multiplied y again, again you are going to take get y square twice y square root over 2. Okay, so I have skipped here one step. You can write that step also, it is okay. So this y will be divided by so if you bring it in other side it will be multiplied okay understood uh, these things is i think it's known to you it's simple mathematics okay this thing is nothing but you take y okay so this is already y so it will be remain same 42.55 okay minus y square okay this will be same then we have addition twice y because here we don't have anything now divided by so we have to multiply by y so twice y square if you multiply by y this will be y square put over 2 okay 30.04 is equal okay so this is divided by if you bring it in the left hand side it will be multiplied 30.04 multiplied by y is equal to whatever the equation is left out. Okay. Okay. So now this is also y square, this is also y square. So 2 root 2. If you further solve. You will get this expression okay then you solve by your using your calculator you will get this two value Okay, hmm. so getting this to value, then we proceed. Okay, so now you have to depth which one you are going to use. Okay. Now 
you have two depth which depth you are going to provide so for that again we have calculated the b value by using that expression by simply substituting the y value okay so for each y you are going to get one b value okay so now when you have substituted that y is equal to 14.86 that b value you are getting in negative okay so we all know that width of the channel cannot be negative so this will be cancelled out okay so we are going to consider this as y and v value okay so our record y will be 1.56 and width of the channel is 25.71 okay So, this is our required y and width of the channel. Then we have to provide free board. Here in Lessis theory, we are going to provide 25%. Okay. So that is why 25 by 100 multiplied by 1.56 in addition to the depth of flow. 25% okay? of y, we are going to provide extra. Okay. Suppose this is our design channel for that particular discharge then we are going to provide this is y okay so we are going to provide some amount of extra that part is nothing but your 25 percent of y this is nothing but your 25 percent that is why 25 percent of y plus y so your depth is 1.95 meter for this particular depth you can also calculate the width of the channel okay because once your depth changes you can also increase the width of the channel okay to increase the capacity of the channel okay then we need to find out the bed slope so this equation is already known or we have already discussed that is f to the power 5 by 3 divided by T450 Q to the power 1 by 6. So the seal factor we have already calculated and this search is given. So you can directly find out the slope. So we are going to move to the next numerical, okay? So this is also related to the your Lessis theory, okay? So you solve another one. So you can write this question. This is little bit not visible, okay? I am going to dictate that question. Don't worry. Design an irrigation canal by Lessis theory 
design and irrigation canal by Lessis theory, where the surge is 50 meter cube per second and the sediment size is 0.3 mm. Okay, design and irrigation canal by Lessis theory. You kindly write down the question, okay? Design and irrigation canal by Lessis theory, where the surge is 50 meter cube per second and sediment size is 0.3 mm. Okay. Assume any data not given. Okay. And recommend free board. Okay. So you try to solve this numerical. Okay. So it's very much similar to your previous one. Okay. So here this size is given 50 meter cube per second and sediment size is given 0.3 mm. Okay. Definitely here the side slope is not given. So that Z value we are going to directly assume as one. Okay. So you try to solve. First you find out the silk factor. The silk factor you are getting the same value 0 0.96 then you find out the velocity Velocity you are going to get Velocity you are going to get around 0 0.83 meter per second You're getting the same value Okay fine Then you find out the area then you find out the area. Then we are going to consider two equation like previous one. So one is your area expression. Okay. Then y square. So area we have already calculated that is 60.24 dy plus y square. Okay. Z value we assumed one. Okay. So directly we have written y square. Okay. Then we find an expression for p value. Okay. As very much similar to your first one. Uh, sorry, previous numerical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have using that weighted perimeter equation that is given by Lessis it is 4.75 root over q we find out the weighted perimeter 33.58 okay then we use the weighted perimeter expression of a trapezoidal channel okay that is 33.58 is equal to by sorry it's b plus a is equal to B plus twice y root over 1 plus x square. Okay. So this is the expression for weighted perimeter. So weighted perimeter we have already calculated that is 30.58 
b value is unknown y value is unknown z value we have assumed 1 so it will be twice y root 2 okay. and in place of b value we can substitute this equation okay. and we will be having one equation with one unknown okay and you find out the y value and see you are getting the same value or not 16.35 and 2.01 and 2.01 by value over we're getting the same value
Okay, so for each y value, you find out the width of the channel. Okay, so for your two depth, you are going to get two width of the channel. So one is in negative, so your width of the channel cannot be negative. So we are going to consider this. Okay. Y is equal to 2.01 and width of the channel is 28.97. Once you are getting the width of the channel, you are going to find out. Sorry, you are going to provide pre boot, okay? That is 25% of depth. Then your design depth will be your 25% of y plus y. So 2.01 is approximately 2 meter, okay? So it will be around 2.5 meter. Okay? And then the last step is to find out the slope of the channel. You will get in this value. 1.41 into 10 to the power minus 4. So you go through this numericals okay if you have any doubt then we can discuss in the next class okay and here we completed this uh, design of channel for mobile boundary or erodible boundary okay so in the next class we will discuss the methods to design for rigid boundary or you can say non erodible boundary okay so from the next class we have two types of methods that we are going to discuss for designing a canal for rigid boundary or non erodible channel okay so uh, i request you to kindly go through these numericals okay because here only the difficult part is to solve and find out the y value okay that is the only one difficulties other things are very simple okay so you uh, practice and then you always try to use your calculator it will save your lots of time okay if possible you can solve both the equation at a time by using your calculator okay with two unknowns then you only have to write that expression and you can directly find out the y value Thank you.